Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a landing page on Squarespace in 2024. So today, we're delving into a powerful tool in the online marketing toolkits, how to create a landing page on Squarespace in 2024. Landing pages are essential for capturing leads, promoting products, and driving conversations. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step process of crafting an effective landing page using just Squarespace. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and log in into your Squarespace account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and type squarespace.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of Squarespace. If you have an account, you'll be able to log in into uh, your account from this top right or, uh, option instead of my icon here because I'm already logged in that's why I see my icon in here of course for you you'll find the login option as an example I'll just show you why not and as you can see you'll find the login option here if you have an account if you don't uh, you can click on get started to create a new account for your own of course and just go close this and you can even click on get started here to create an account if you don't know nothing about Squarespace can scroll down to read more information about this website as an example and uh, here in the bottom as you can see you'll find some frequently asked questions i'll just uh, pause here you can pause the venue and read so if you have one of those questions so just open even the answers of those in here why not and as i said if you have one of those questions just pause the video and read so by your own for me i'll just go here and click on account dashboard to access my dashboard right away and here as an example you'll be able to go and create your site to create of course a landing page on your squarespace if you want to if you already have a website and you just want to create a landing page for it just go and access this website or the website that you want to create a landing page for it if you don't you can go and create a new website and then create the landing page for it if you want to for me i'll just go as an example to this one why not and of course in here I'll be able to go and start creating some new pages. How? Simply go to the left panel, click on website, and here you'll find all the pages that you have. Simply, you'll be able to delete some pages, delete some things, uh, do whatever you want, or create some new pages. Simply go and click on plus to create a new page. You'll be able to create a blank page, page layout, scheduling, blog, store, portfolio, events, videos, course, member sites, drop down, or even link. So you can add an example a blank page if you want to to if you want that to be your uh, page. So you'll have to name it. I'll just name it like landing landing page. Hit the enter button, and as you can see, this landing page empty is created. I can click on settings, and as you can see, I'll be able to edit the title, navigation title, the URL uh, of it, and a if you want to enable page, if you want to even put a password to it, you can duplicate it. So this is a home page or delete the page. And for the SEO, this is for just SEO ranking if you want to. As example, for the social images, you can add image to it. And for advanced, you can add some uh, code if you want to have a page header code injection. Other than that, you will have to start adding blocks to this page. How to do so, go and click on edits here. Once you click on it, you'll be able to start adding your sections, then blocks. So you can add the blank section or simply look for the landing page that you may want. So look for the landing page that you may, this may suit you as an example. I don't know, maybe this one, or you can simply start by a blank section. As simple as that, then you'll be able to add some blocks to that page. Of course, you can bend the old landing page by adding content blocks. Squarespace, as you can see, offers a variety of blocks for text, images, buttons, forms, and even more. You can search everything out by this option. You can use this block to structure your page and convey your message effectively. So customize the layout of your landing page and create a visually appealing design. You can adjust the colors, fonts, and spacing to match your brand identity. And Squarespace Designs uh, tool, of course, makes it very easy to achieve a polished and professional look for your own. As an example, let's say that we want to add an image for our landing page. I'll just put it here. And of course, I'll just go and add a block, uh, another block, a button block, why not? And another block, like, I don't know. The 
let's make it a text. So I'll just type in this text right here. I'll just type hello. Of course, I can adjust how the text will look like. I can upload some file, select from library, whatever I want. I'll just go to from free images, choose this one, add this image, why not? And for the button, simply, I'll just go here. You can choose how it's going to look like. And you can click on edit and choose, of course, the uh, link that's going to be uh, this people going to be taken once they click on this button. As example, I don't know, I'll just type https two dots, two slashes, and google.com. Why not? Design, as you can see, you can change it however you want. And you, if you want it fill or fits however you want, you can let it here, here in the middle. And yeah, let's say that this is going to be our landing page so of course you can make things low, uh, smaller oh sorry i deleted that and you can make things bigger so however you want you'll be able to do it of course i guess this is the smallest block so you'll not be able to make it smaller than that and let's say that this is my landing page as you can see i'm pretty stuck at it i will not be able to do it that's why I keep using like templates. But for you, of course, if you're good at designing, etc., make sure to create a landing page good for you. And as you can see, the landing page will be here and the header for you. Why? Because let's like, just click on uh, save and exit because you have it here. Of course, you can uh, add it like as a menu or a sub menu for this about if you want to, as example. So people don't have our about, you'll be able to go to the landing page if they click on it. And if they click as example on project, they'll be taken to the project space and etc. So of course, you can even let us as it is here in the heading so when people click on it they will be taken to your landing page right away for of course for you if your landing page like is aimed at collecting some leads you can add the lead capture uh, form you can use squarespace form block to create an example so go to edits and you'll be able to add some form blocks as example so form go here to form as example and you'll be able to have your form right here you'll be able to edit it however you want you'll be able to edit the content the design the storage everything that you want to have you can even uh, add this google captcha or remove it additional storage you can connect your google drive zapier mailchimp uh, you can uh, choose which email uh, should be sent this message to of course you can choose as i said the design of it how should should look and the content like example the form name uh, landing page so i'll just choose form as example Oh, this is from so form and uh, like the button should be uh, i'll just uh, change to done why not and you can adjust any other thing that you want once you finish you can of course don't forget even to optimize your landing page for mobile users also don't ignore them of course it will look like that for mobile users you can change it for mobile users also so make sure to change it to meet or to be good for mobile users once you've finished everything just click on save and of course you can improve the visibility of your landing page by configuring SEO settings i'll let you check out that or discover that's my own so that's going to be it for me today i showed you how to create or successfully create a landing page on your squarespace in 2024 thank you for watching and i'll see you at the next video